Bilderberg. What's that? Who are the Bilderbergs? A lot of very wealthy people in, in business and government who seem to think that they're a law unto themselves. Just a bunch of wealthy people up there making decisions about our futures. It's a meeting of uh, political and uh, wealthy people from around the world. A shadow government uh, who are meeting in secret as we speak up in the Growth Hotel. It's a meeting between a large number of people to discuss various various political issues I believe isn't it? You've got uh, politicians who work for us, we, we, pay, we pay their salaries and they're in there conspiring with heads of industry, people like that. God knows what they're talking about, we don't know, do we? Cabinet ministers turn up, Osborne's up there, <laughs> Chancellor today, Ed Ball's the opposition, uh, so they're like, they covered both sides of the argument. You know, you've got the Google CEOs in there, they're trying to bring in CISPA and, and all the uh, protection against the internet. Um, act. Henry Kissinger's in there, he's wanted for war crimes all around the world. He, need, he should be hauled out of there by the police today and arrested. David Cameron in there, he's running the country. He works for me, dude. What's he doing in there? Behind closed doors. Nobody's particularly happy about what's going on in there, why it's going on and what's going to be a direct result of that. Cry for liberty from a tyranny. We know that Milliband's in there, we know that Ken Clark is obviously on the steering committee. It's global government by stealth and it's completely designed. So Google, Bilderbergers, they're all a bunch of crooks. It's in violation of the Logan Act in, the, in America and the UK. It's in violation of the UK parliamentary code for, uh, for, for, for politicians to be meeting behind closed doors like that uh, in secrecy. Five people from HSBC who were um, basically involved in the whole um, LIBOR scandal. So they're sitting in there right now, you know. NATO is up there. I know that my Prime Minister's been here. I know that my Chancellor's Cheque has been here. I know that's treason, because they are, they are negotiating with a foreign entity. And according to English common law, that's treason, and that has not been redacted. I share the concerns of the people here. It ain't you that's mad. It's the world we live in, and it's the people who run it. I actually think they are lizards, you know. I think David Icke is right. Insanity has become normal. This is the power above politics. This is the power above the puppets. Dirty lizard bastards! Shadow world government, I believe, is the phrase Alex Jones uses, isn't it? They're not telling us what they're up to. If they're doing nothing wrong, why does it need to be a secret? People are beginning to understand is that uh, governments don't really call the shots. A completely different world exists behind the the, the masks, the smoke screens that are put before us. We are all becoming servants of a giant corporate state run by our friends up there. They're evil, they are controlling the governments of the Western world. They want the world for themselves. They've stolen the governments, they've stolen the money, they've stolen the cultures, they've stolen almost everything, and now they want us out of the way. This is not a conspiracy to enslave Jewish people or Muslim people or white middle class Americans. This is a, a conspiracy to enslave all of us. This group, you know, they brought us the, the European Union. They brought us, you know, the euro, which is now controlled by the banks through the European Stability Mechanism. Every one of us here, they're just firing weapons right into us. Bioweapons, chemical weapons. Oh, they're just firing electromagnetic weapons into all of you. They hate you. They want depopulation. I reckon we do, should depopulate them. You see, they want their new world order. Order out of chaos. We want the new world order in chaos. They control the world's money supply. How do they control the world's money supply? They have a range of central banks, the Federal Reserve, the Bank of England, the Bank of France, all these are central banks. They create money completely out of thin air and then charge interest off that. And then the government at the moment is paying £50 billion a year just to meet the interest payments. But their agenda is to uh, take control of the whole planet, have us all operating under a one world bank with one world currency, um, and have us all living in fear. The globalists are killing the entire planet. They are playing God. They are genetically engineering everything. They believe they're going to evolve and merge with machines. They do not care about the majority of the population <coughs> of the world. Yeah, They care about keeping them at the top so they can do what they want with the world. That's the big ultimate secret, is they're running a giant chemical bioweapon soft kill operation against humanity. And if you come away with anything, it's this. For God's sakes, warn everyone you know. These people are bloody planning wars. 
where they're going to invade next, what countries they're going to bloody pull the plug on next with their economic warfare operations. It's kind of funny when you think about it, because you realise you're an idiot, the world has turned to shit and you've been a major participant in it. And the people who stand in the planet's defence are viewed as miscreants, rebels, misfits and delinquents. Yes. But that's taking a piss a bit in it. I ain't no anarchist or communist, I just want everyone to be happy and that's just me being honest. It's important you're here. The BBC came finally for once. But thank God, now people know about it. News is not news. It's more like public relations for the establishment, for the elite. And we're not being told what's really happening. And because of that, we're, we're being left in the dark. Mainstream media is not covering it. And the people gathered to say, enough! There's a revolution coming and it's starting right here. It's been starting for a long, long time and it's quickening. No more fear of authority. No more fear of anything. They have a lot of control over us all, and it's about time it stopped, really. I think this is the start of the revolution, man. People are awake to the globalists and their lying propaganda organs! <laughs> Human race, get off your knees, because the lion sleeps no more! Let them in! Let them in! They've got a right to protest as we have. We've already got a tiny field about the size of a sheep pen. They should let them in. They are going to be let in. The message just has to get through. Give it a chance, OK? Not back to let them in because they're coming in. Today can truly be marked as one of the key points on the map of history of when humanity rose up and the sleeping giant prepared to defeat the globalists. This is the next stage where we stop playing a part in the enslavement of ourselves. Our message to the Bilderberg Group and the global crime syndicate that they, re that they represent is that humanity is awake and staring and aware of your crimes and nothing on earth is going to stop the judgment of justice that is coming down on you now. We are the hope that will never hide. We are the turning of the tide. Do you take it personally that they're on record saying they want to reduce world population by at least 80% and that many of these people have openly bragged that they're putting chemical and biological weapons in the food chain to kill us with horribly debilitating diseases. Do we take that personal? Yeah! Yeah! What we need is a peaceful, non-cooperative campaign. The non-comply dance, as I call it. Peaceful because we ain't joining them. We know you are killers. We know you are killers. We know you are killers. Soon, all this will be people ready to chop the fuckers' heads off. You don't have a right to make us your slaves, and we're standing up and we're saying no. We will never surrender. We will never surrender. We will never surrender. I am here to tell the new world order, you are not God. If you had any idea of the mind of God, you would not be committing the blasphemy against God's creation that you've engaged in. The answer to 1984 is 1776. The answer to 1984 is 1776. Bilderberg has fallen! Yeah!